In this video, I'm going to show you 12 signs and causes of low potassium levels you should not ignore. Potassium is a type of mineral which is really essential in order for the body cells, tissues and even organs to work properly. It is one of the necessary needed electrolytes which conduct electrical impulses in the entire body. Additionally, this mineral is extremely important for the right and proper functions of the muscles, including the heart. As a matter of fact, low potassium levels may be caused by different kinds of factors. It can either be due to excessive sweating, hydration, diarrhea, as well as consuming less foods which are loaded with it. There are also different kinds of medicines that have the ability to affect the levels of potassium in the body. With the help of this video, we will be sharing with you some of the warning signs and symptoms that you may be having that indicate you have low potassium levels in your body. This is also known as hypokalemia. Number 1. A medication side effect. Hypokalemia may occur as a side effect of taking a variety of other medications. When taken in large doses, certain antibiotics can also induce low potassium. Number 2. Muscle weakness and cramps. Potassium is necessary for the proper functioning of the body's muscles. So if you're low on this nutrient, it stands to reason that you're likely to experience some problems. Muscle weakness may be amongst the first signs which can cause a person difficulty when walking or holding objects. Number 3. Alcohol abuse. Alcohol, especially consumed in excessive amounts, negatively affects your entire body and potassium levels are no exception. This is because alcohol use causes imbalances of electrolytes, the electrically conductive ions in body fluids which affect potassium levels. These imbalances interfere with normal body processes by altering the chemical composition and concentration of fluids throughout the body. Therefore it's best to watch your alcohol intake in order to prevent it from causing low potassium. Number 4. Fatigue. Every cell in your body needs the right amount of potassium to function, therefore a sustained dip can result in generalised fatigue. But there are a wide variety of factors that can cause feelings of fatigue, which can make it hard to identify the symptoms as being those due to low potassium levels. If your regular sweat session leaves you exhausted and you know you're not getting enough sleep, potassium might be your cause. Number 5. Abnormal Heart Rhythms. The heart is able to work tirelessly thanks to a fine balance of important chemicals such as potassium and sodium between the heart cells and the bloodstream. However, when hypokalemia occurs, this can cause an imbalance and disrupt the regular rhythm of the heart. These abnormal heart rhythms are known as arrhythmias and may cause you to feel like your heart is pounding, fluttering or about to skip a beat in your chest. Such symptoms are considered severe, so if you experience them, please seek medical attention. Number 6. Constipation. The walls of the stomach and intestines contain muscle cells. These propel food through the digestive system. When the potassium levels in your blood are low, these cells become sluggish leading to a variety of digestion issues. Constipation is the most common complaint, however if potassium levels drop to severely low levels, the propelling movements of the intestines may stop entirely, causing nausea, vomiting, lack of appetite, bloating and abdominal pain. Number 7. Frequent Urination In some cases, hypokalemia persists for a lengthy period of time. Kidney problems may develop in such case. One such problem is that people with a potassium deficiency usually urinate frequently and produce more urine than normal. And water loss from frequent urination triggers ongoing thirst and drinking more fluids to compensate, which in turn leads to more frequent urination and so the cycle continues. If left untreated, hypokalemia can cause kidney malfunction and the people with pre-existing kidney disease are vulnerable to kidney failure. Number 8. Tingling and Numbness Low levels of potassium in the blood can cause feelings of tingling and numbness. It typically occurs in the extremities such as the fingers, toes, hands or feet, which may radiate out into other areas of the body, including the arms and legs. 
As potassium is an essential nutrient to proper functioning of the body's nerves, declining levels can affect the electrical impulses passed through the skin and muscles to the spinal cord and brain, leading to a loss of sensation along the outer extremities. Number 9. Diuretics Although there are many different causes of hypokalemia, the most common is excessive potassium loss in urine due to prescription medications that increase urination. These medications are known as diuretics or water pills and are often prescribed for people who have high blood pressure or heart disease. Because potassium loss through urination is a common side effect of diuretics, individuals who are prescribed these medications often have their potassium levels monitored. Number 10. High Blood Pressure Low potassium levels can also cause a person's blood pressure to increase. Potassium helps relax blood vessels. Without enough of it, they can become constricted, which causes blood pressure to soar. The body becomes more susceptible to the effects of sodium in the diet, which can increase blood pressure. In some cases, this may cause fainting or feelings of faintness, especially when rising from a seated to standing position. Number 11. Vomiting and Diarrhea Low potassium levels can also occur due to vomiting or diarrhea. Whilst these symptoms can happen as a result of a temporary illness, gastroenteritis, they may also be due to someone suffering from an eating disorder. With bulimia in particular, self-induced vomiting is very common, as is excessive laxative use over a long period of time. People with bulimia engage in such behaviours called purging in an attempt to prevent weight gain from all the food they consume during binge eating episodes. Finally, number 12, an improper diet. Although it's possible, hyperkalemia rarely occurs as a result of insufficient potassium intake in one's diet. The reason is that the nutrient is readily available in a variety of natural sources, including sweet potatoes, tomatoes, beans, beetroots and watermelons, just to name a few. However, in some cases the malnutrition may be intentional, as discussed in number 11. So to conclude, if you stick to these fruits and vegetables, you're going to go a long way to fulfilling your potassium needs. These are bananas, oranges, honeydew, apricots, grapefruit, fruits such as prunes, raisins and dates are also high in potassium, cooked spinach, cooked broccoli, potatoes, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, peas and cucumbers. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the 12 signs and causes of low potassium levels that you should not ignore. And if you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on the health benefits of bananas which also contain a lot of potassium. Thanks for watching and bye for now.